guys, Shaber 1000 here. Today we're going to be checking this out. This is my monitor for our security cams. And they're not recording. I'll show you what I mean. Okay guys, I can tell it's not recording because down here in the corners there should be record buttons. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> it should tell me I'm recording. And I'm not. So. Let me see if I can bring you in a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll show you what happens. I'm going to log out of this. I'm going to reboot. i to get my password in here. All right, now I'm going to speed you up while that's rebooting and then I'll show you what it what it's doing or not doing. Okay. So right here it says working HDD is not available. Now I know I've got a hard drive in here cuz I put one in here when it was brand new. That's been 3 to 4 years ago. So I think the hard drive's bad. But even if the system is bad and I got to buy another system, they don't come with hard drives. So, I figure I'll try the hard drive first. If that doesn't do it, and then I'll get another system and I will already have the hard drive. Because either way, I was going to have to buy a hard drive. So, there's the problem there. See, you can see everything's working. There's somebody walking. There's cars going past. Um, so, what are they doing? Hang on. Okay, so I don't know what that was about. Um, but anyway, as you can see, HDD is not available. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and unhook that. I'm going to get you out here in the light, and we're going to put a new hard drive in this system, and we're going to check it out and see if we can get it working. Okay, guys. So, there's screwdrivers we're going to use. My knife to open this up. I'm doing this out here in the kitchen because, well, my garage is really a mess. And besides, anytime you're messing with hard drives, whether it be a DVR or a computer or whatever, you want to try to keep it as clean as possible. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and open this up and then I'm going to put something down here. And they usually come like this. If it's open, send it back. So let's go ahead and open this up. There's our warranty card. And here's our hard drive. I, like I said in my last video, I can't remember if I got a two terabyte or a one terabyte. Um, it is a one terabyte. I don't know what's in the other one. I think I just got the cheapest one that, that they had. And here's... Um, This is a uh, a card. They want your opinion. It matters to them, I guess. But so and here's some. Um, you can also run this in a Windows. This terabyte hard drive. I should I should put this in my old computer and put the hard drive out of my old computer in here, which I may make that happen. But this is for desktop computers, and uh, this tells you how to hook all this up. So. But this was like $37 for one terabyte. Um, I may get one for my old computer because we still use it. It just can't. Uh, it, it it just can't handle the the 4K editing stuff. So um, yeah, see, so you can put it in a laptop. Um, HDD clone. That's optional. Um, you can put it in a Mac desktop or a MacBook. Um, CCTV DVR, which that's what we're going to be using it for, for external enclosure or HDD docking station. So you can use this for all kinds of stuff. But this is it here. So let me get something put down here, so we can try to be as clean as we as we can on this, because I'm going to have to clean this up and everything. 
But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open this up. Now this is really dirty, nasty. It's been in the garage for like I said three to four years. So I didn't wipe it off because I just wanted to show you now. I remember there was a screw missing there. It is right there and it didn't give the screws to put inside so it's kind of rattled around a little bit but when it's just sitting still it'll be fine but I got something to to take care of that with the with the other hard drive there so let's go ahead and take this apart so normally you'll have like on this one yours may vary got a screw there one there and then two on the back which it's only got one on the back right now but it may it may vary but they're they're pretty much they're they're all pretty much the same there's really you really can't mess it up <laughs> so I'm just gonna put that down in there I'm gonna open this up because a lot of people will buy these I may have to get a bigger screwdriver okay I gotta get a better screwdriver hang on guys okay so like I was saying a lot of people will buy these things they get them all hooked up And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, they can't figure out why it's not recording. Well, that's because there's no hard drive in them. Very rarely do you get one with a hard drive. Um, you can order them now. They'll give you an option of, you know, if you just want this, how many cameras do you want? You know, a one terabyte hard drive, two, two terabyte hard drive, blah, 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 and all that. But some of them, you just order this thing, and you go, cool, you know, I get uh, I can get an 8-channel DVR with four, with four cameras, and they, like I said, they get them hooked up, and they're not recording, they can't figure it out. Well, that's because it needs a hard drive. Now, this one, when they say channels, what that means is how many cameras you can put in here. This is just a four-channel. Uh, later on, I'm, I am going to upgrade to, you know, probably an eight and down in here there's our hard drive right here this is only a 500 gigabyte so okay there must have been one screw there is a screw on the bottom oh that's what I did okay I remember now I used this screw to help hold this hard drive in now at the time we, we did take this somewhere with us once to an, to a uh, a haunted hotel down around Tampa area and uh, I did use it there but other than that this thing just just sat in there on the shelf it was never moved so I'll probably do this again I'll put the one screw in and then um, and then I got some double-sided tape that'll that'll hold it There we go. On the floor, of course. And these screws, you got to watch them because we got tile out here, and them tile, this tile, that thing will bounce like you would not believe. Okay, so I'm gonna take this, and we're gonna unplug this, and we're gonna unplug this here. And I don't think this one was being used, if I remember right. Uh, so I think this was the problem here. Um, Sixteen MB cache, you know, to where like this one, it's going to be one terabyte, and it's got a thirty-two MB cache. Okay, so uh, max digital data is what this one is here. Um, so this is the old one. I don't know why that looks like that. I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to blow this out. I'm going to go blow this out with compressed air, wipe it down. This is the battery that keeps your settings. And one setting I noticed that never stuck was, you, it's supposed to be 1080, and you put it on 1080, it wouldn't save. It kept reverting back to 720. So I don't know what that was all about. 
I think maybe the cameras are only 720. I don't know. But you would think it'd still be 1080 in here. But, so like I said, I can't, I don't think this was in use. I can't remember now. Uh, but every once in a while, you know, I could unplug it and reset it. And it would record for a couple days and then stop. But it would only hold two weeks. You know, I could only go back two weeks because then it would start recording over again. So, but, so anyway, let me get this all cleaned up and then we'll be back and we're going to put this new one in and then we'll, um, they feel about the same. This one may be a little heavier. Uh, like I said, this was just the cheapest one I could get at the time. Just the cheapest. So, I think this was only like 10 or 10 or 12 bucks so what I'm gonna do is clean it up and we'll get back with this we'll be back with this here in just a minute oh I know what this is for this goes over here uh, I think it's an IR for remote control which we don't have I think that's why I did not plug it in I don't know I will plug it in but anyway right now let's go ahead and um, get it cleaned up okay guys I zoomed in a little bit more um, let's see just so you can see a little bit better but let's go ahead and open this up you know you don't want these around moisture if you gotta hang on to it for a couple days before you use it you don't want them around moisture or anything like that now we're gonna put the we're gonna plug the big one in here this is your power supply this is your data cable and it's going to go right there just like that so what it is is the yellow and black and red wires will plug into here the long one and then your DAC cable will plug into here real simple if you have to take pictures There's nothing wrong with that so what I'm going to do is I am going to put a screw back in there but first before I do let me grab something real quick Okay, so I got my double-sided sticky tape. It's 3M. It's pretty good stuff here. It's not going to take a lot of it. But the problem I'm going to have is to line these holes up and stick that on there without getting it too far off. So, yeah, they should come with screws, but they don't. So, when you get one of these guys and you have to buy one of these, you know, you're going to need screws or this stuff here will be fine because like I said this thing just sets on the shelf it doesn't go anywhere uh, if we when we go to the to the uh, haunted jail I may take it for that investigation we'll have to see so the only bad thing about this tape is getting it started to come off you know there we go. No, no. All right, let me get this. There we go. All right. Now, let's see, I'm going to. I don't want to cover any of this up. So I think what I'm going to do is just come over here in this corner. Just like that. I'm going to turn this upside down, get it lined up, and then I'm going to push it on there. What I'm doing, I'm just looking for the screw holes. Because I am going to put one screw in it.
All right. Okay, so now I think I'm going to put another piece of that right up here. And then we're going to put it back together. So let me get this tape on there. We'll come back. All right, so <clears throat> now that I've got it, this in, I've got this wire plugged back in. It may have came off when I took this out, but this is still not the best. But it's going to, it's just going to be sitting on a shelf. So let's go ahead and put this back on here. Get it the right way here. There we go. These, these just usually slide right up in there. So like if you have a power outage and <coughs> you know you just got to keep resetting your time and date on this thing, it's that right there. It's that little battery. So just like a little watch battery or button cell battery we call them. So get this up in here just like that. So I'm going to start this screw in. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in. So hopefully this will take care of the issue. If not, then I'll just buy an 8 channel. I've already got four cameras. I'll buy an 8 channel with four more cameras. And uh, I'll really... Because I got, I got two cameras in, in the house here. But they're both in this room. If I put one up there in the corner, which that's what I'm going to do, it'll, it'll cover the whole room. Then that'll, And I've got two out front and three if you count the ring doorbell. And then I'll take one and I'll put it out back, out in the backyard. And then we'll pretty well be set up. Never be too careful, especially if we're all gone. And, you know, her mom's elderly, so she don't, you know, she doesn't know, you know, who to let in or anything like that. So we just tell her don't answer. And what we do is we answer the door through the ring doorbell. So, all right. So we're all set. Good to go. Everything's staying good. I might try to find another screw. My holes are still lined up there. I'll try to find another screw and put in it. But let's go back in. I'm going to hook this back up. All it is, is I'm just going to hook my, my cameras up into here. And then I have a... Uh, then I got my power. And these are my USB slots. Um, that's just for, for my mouse and for when I take uh, uh, footage off of here. Um, this is for my network cable in case I want to run um, uh, internet through this. This is what I got it running out from. This you can run like a regular monitor uh, VGA. This is um, this is output. Um, shoot, what's it called? Anyway, uh, you guys know what that is. Gosh. Um, but then I've got um, audio, but like I said, the four. So this just runs out into the TV, and I forget what that is called. Um, so anyway, so let me go ahead and get this hooked back up. It's real easy. This here is for an alarm if you have an alarm set up. Um, so it's pretty simple. Uh, the bigger ones, they do look more complicated, but they're, they all do about the same thing. So let's go in and let's get this hooked up, and we'll see what we got. Okay guys, so I didn't have to do anything. All I did was plugged it in and it came on. So, I mean, I didn't have to log in. I'll have to log in like if I want to check over footage and all that stuff or change any settings. But let me show you what I'm talking about here. This, that little R down there, that's for record. That's recording movement. There's my microphone, which I do have a microphone on one of these. And let me get you down here and I'll kick that on. And we'll see if we can hear it. This is just a TV. It's not actually a monitor. It's just a little, a little TV. So I can't remember which one of these has audio. I think it's this one. So, well, I guess I better plug my mouse in. Like I said, it just kicked on so I didn't have to do anything. So I didn't plug my mouse in yet. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And, um, 
I got the light turned off so you guys can see better. Okay, so now, here's my little mouse rolling around. Let's, uh, I think it's this one. It's got sound. Now I'm going to have to turn the TV up. And uh, let me find my remote. Okay, I found my remote. It was right there where I was looking for it. So, I think it's, is it this one or maybe it's this one? Check. One of these, one of these has audio. And it should have been in one of these here. Oh, that one. Okay. So let me see. Let me see what I got going on here. Why the audio is not working. Okay. You might be able to hear me in that. So, anyway, that's. We got it. See, that's the audio. It's going to feed back because the mic is actually only about five feet from this thing. So, from so it's going to feed back. Okay, so let's see. I'll go out here and I'll show you the recording. Alright, so this one here should be the one with the mic. If I got them hooked up right. I actually had them hooked up the wrong way. I had sorry about that I had the uh, I don't know if you guys noticed but yeah I had them wrong because I did not uh, label my camera leads um, so yeah alright so let's check out some of the the footage and make sure it's recording so what we're gonna do is I'm already logged in I'm gonna go to playback and this is how long it's been recorded so far and there it is. That is that's our uh, let's turn the mic on make sure it was recording. Yeah it was recording. So and then we'll know What I want to do is I'll throw that footage in and you can check the footage out so that yeah, seems to be working fine nice clarity I can't hear that hard drive running so I think I might go ahead and get me one for my old computer for the price of it and um, yeah so that's that's pretty cool all right guys there you go Shea Bear the myth the man the legend I'm gone for now Hope you guys had a great weekend and uh, stick around for more videos. And that's where I was switching them around, <laughs> the cameras. So, um, yeah, there we are. The monkey came in, asked if I was done yet. There are her and her mom's outside, so. Uh, let me see here. But, so I'm going to throw the, these clips in here. Uh, a couple clips of these and the one with audio and see what you guys think but i think it's working fine it is recording now so that's good we'll that'll work good that moved up there because i was tapping the the microphone to see which one of these i had on mic i think i ended up changing them but um there we go so anyway enjoy the clips thanks for watching appreciate it we'll see you guys soon bye bye and take care Huh? Are you done? Almost. Where's my cell phone? Huh? Where's my cell phone? I'll go out here and I'll show you the recording. Alright, so this one here should be the one with the mic, if I got them hooked up right. I actually had them hooked up the wrong way.